Uh, knots are a subject that confuse a lot of sea anglers. There are literally hundreds of different kinds of knots, but I believe that you can fish in the sea in the UK with just three basic knots. You don't need any others. Okay, if you get proficient and you want to try something out, there's nothing to stop you trying it. But the three I'm going to show you now will get you fishing, they'll make you all the rigs, and that's all you really need. This is the first knot I'm going to tie, it's, it's called a half blood knot. Now I use it for hooks, simply because it presents the bait nicely. Line through the eye of the hook, twist around, five times. If you go six, you'll find it's hard to pull it tight. You put it straight through the loop that you've created and tease it tight. I'm using a copolymer line here and that doesn't need wetting. If you wet it, it tends to jam. Now, I can trim that off fairly close. That's the half blood. Now, the other knot that you can use for hooks is a grinner. Now I'll tie it as well because then I can show you, compare the two. Now the grinner, again, straight through the eye of the hook, lay your finger along the line, like so, around your finger three times, and then you put that tag in the line through where your finger was. Easy peasy, like that. Again, tease it tight, don't jerk it. Now you can see the difference when I pull it up tight. This one has got the tag end, be careful we don't chop the wrong one off, it's got the tag end facing upwards. This one has got the tag end pretty well flush. Now if you're fishing with a big bait it doesn't really matter but if you're fishing with a worm or smaller bait the bait tends to ride up the snood and on these it'll ride up on the grinner knot, it'll ride up and then it can't get back down onto the hook point. That's why I don't use it for small bait fishing, I use the half blood. Right, the third knot is a stop knot. Some call it a figure of eight, some call it a grinner. I prefer it as a grinner, it's very similar to the grinner we've tied. Now it's used as a stop for float fishing, to stop the float, or it's used to make a bait stop, or it's used to fix swivels and beads in positions rather than a crimp. And the advantage of a stop nut is you can move it, you can't move a crimp. So when you're rig making, all you need to do is three turns around your finger and put the end through where the thing, finger was. Tease it together carefully and that locks on the line. We'll chop it, I won't chop it too closely. Now on a hook snood, the bait can run up away from the hook, up right up the snood. So if a fish comes along, it takes the bait and the hook's miles away from it. So we use a bait stop. Now what we do, we tie a stop knot like that, then we get a sequin, nice purple one here. Put that on the line. This hook snood's a bit big, but it's, uh, it's just for demonstration. A five turn blood knot again. Pull it tight, trim it off. Now when you bait up, you can put a whole lugworm up the, up the line, up the hook and up the line, and you can run that knot down to the, to the end of it, and that will stop the lugworm going further up the snood. If it goes further up the snood, as I said, a fish will come along and grab the bait there, and the hook's over here. With this system, it's going to grab the bait because the bait is around the hook. You just adjust it to the length of the worm. Simple as that.